All right, it's Mark Delise, and this is a fast action video. Uh, before I get right into it, I want to do a little bit of a training on the power of SE Nuke and my take on uh, what it can do for you and how to make sure that your, uh, your sites, your money sites are not banned, are not punished, are not sandboxed. You gotta be very, very careful. That's why I want you to start off with SE Nuke not using the uh, not using the wizard. I want you to manually do it just to see how it works and I'm going to walk you through it right now. First of all, let me get my little pen drawing pin here. Uh, this is your money site. I talked about this in a webinar today. Here is your money site right here. Uh, this is a very important site. This is where your money is being made. This is where you're ultimately driving traffic to. And you can use SE Nuke. Let's just put SE Nuke. SE Nuke. Just put SE Nuke. I'm not a very good writer. And you can obviously uh, use SE Nuke to drop a bunch of links to your money site. And you can do a whole, drop hundreds of links to your money site. Uh, but what will happen is that you can easily overdo it, and I'm talking easily overdo it, and your uh, money site will be could, you know, could could ultimately be de-indexed. It could be sandboxed. It could be uh, punished by by Google uh, because of the power of SC Nuke. I ha I have personally had this happen to me a number of times until I finally realized, hey, what am I doing here? I need to back off. Sometimes when you're really going after aggressively after a keyword, and you're you know you're you're rising up in the search engines and you're on first page and you want to get to the number one spot and you just push it. You just push SE Nuke a little bit too hard, and all of a sudden, wham! You're sandboxed, you're punished, you're de-indexed, and uh, and it's not a good thing to experience. And so, if you do use SE Nuke to go to your money site, do it very, very gently, very, very gently. Okay, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna show you how gently to do it uh, in this fast action guide. What I want you to do is if you're going to make a blog posting or if you're going to have a, uh, one of your pages and you're going to be using SE Nuke to put pages right from your, uh, right to your money site directly, um, what you need to do is be very, very careful. I would stick to about maybe eight bookmarks, about eight bookmarks. Uh, every every two days, every two days, and perhaps uh, eight articles. All right, every every two to three days, and then obviously eight press releases, and maybe just I I would stick to this maybe just once a once a week, okay, once a week. And obviously you got your eight social networking sites. Social networking sites. And you can probably do that but once every once every two days. So these are days. Once every two days. Bookmark uh, eight places once every two days. So you, you add a page to your site and you gently uh, do some of this stuff, okay? If you use SE Nuke and all of a sudden you start adding uh, everything to your money site, it's going to you're going to be punished. And then you got your RSS. Oops, uh, it's, it's SS RSS. Again, I would just do eight, and you can do that once every two days, okay? Until until it's until you're done with that with the list in SE Nuke. So I would start off gently. And and just uh, just do those, and you can use the indexer, of course, uh, for all these. All right, and uh, the, the indexer. So I would start off something like that, uh, and I'm going to walk you through that right now. The other strategy that you definitely want to. So this is for your money site. If you want to use SE Nuke to its full potential, this is what you'll want to do. Um, you want to be very careful, very careful when you're using SE Nuke with your money site. In fact, I probably would not even recommend it unless you really know what you're what you're doing. 
You want to stay away from using SUNuke on your money site unless you really, really are careful and you use it gently. Um, you don't want to play around with, with your money site. But what you can do, and this is what I recommend, is here's your money site. And you go out and you set up some feeder sites. I call them feeder sites. Okay, feeder sites. And it could be a blogspot.com. It could be a your own domain. Uh, you know, there's I in a webinar we had earlier. There's one gentleman who buys dot info. He buys he buys dot info sites. It's only two dollars for a dot info, and he puts a blog on it and he puts articles on it and and links uh, from the dot info. This is a feeder site, by the way. And then here's a feeder site. And then here's a feeder site. You know, this could be another domain that you buy, or it could be a free, a free blogging platform. But what you do is you add a lot of content, a lot of pages to these sites. And each of these pages has links to your money site. Okay? And you can put your anchor text backlinks and a lot of pages. And each of these pages you're, are pointing to your money site. Okay? All right? And these these feeder these feeder sites uh, are going to build up page rank because you're really building these these feeder sites up. So they're going to be aged. All of a sudden they're two months old and three months old and four months old and you keep on adding comment co content to it you're, you're building up PR in these sites uh, what I would hi highly recommend if you buy a domain uh, buy an older domain go out and search for an older domain an older domain that has good PR maybe like a PR3 uh, a nice PR3 and, or 4 and, uh, and reinvent it and start adding content and backlinks to your site. I didn't spell that very good. And so what I'm saying here is that what this does, you see, what you can do is you can crank up SE Nuke and start driving traffic and backlinks to your feeder sites. Okay? Use SE Nuke to point to these sites here. Use SE Nuke to point to these feeder sites. You see? Uh, and do not go to your money site. Okay, take drop all these links from SE Nuke and f and go to the feeder sites, and the feeder sites point to your money site. And what this does, what this does, uh, maybe I can change the color. Can I change the color of this here? Yeah. Okay, I can change the color of this here. What this does is that it puts a wall of protection. It puts a wall of protection around your money site, and so if if you're using SE Nuke and you're and you're dropping links to this to this feeder site here, and say for example you're dropping so many links to this feeder site from article directories, from RSS feeds, and so forth, and and you overdo it a little bit, and Google comes along and and they punish you, well, that's okay. All right, because your your livelihood is not dependent upon that feeder site. Your livelihood is the money site, so this can be replaced. Okay. Now, if you go to SE Nuke and you drop all these links to your money site, uh, and Google comes along and punishes you, then you're dead in the water. So I would simply uh, use SE Nuke, and I would build up some very very powerful feeder sites, and and drive traffic and drop links to your feeder sites. Uh, what, and what this does is it put a, puts a wall of protection around your money site and protects you. Okay, so if you just follow that instruction right there, uh, you will save a lot of anxiety. You will save a lot of headaches. And this this is with any automation software out there. It doesn't have to be necessarily SE new. It could be anything, any automation tool where you're where you're drink, where you're cranking up a lot of links uh, with automation tools make them go to feeder sites as opposed to your money site all right now what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you 